residents of Grand County, it's Ryan back with another... <laughs> What's so funny? It's human residents. Huh? What are we like on an alien well, planet either, or what? Either which way. It's going to be a winter pretty, park. It's, good. It's, it's that kind of year. we got The Martian, a space movie yeah, up for a lot of Academy Awards. I figured I'd take a little space. Have you seen it? Come on. No. no what? I have, a, I have a, uh, plans to see it in the near nice. future, nice. you know, nice. with uh, my one of my Christie <laughs> Sports uh, buddies, Rob Brown, down it just, here. It popped up on um, Amazon. You can oh, look. so it's officially out. I didn't. Know I that. think okay. it's officially out. Okay, I, I, I saw. It, I think I saw it on. Amazon. I go see a few movies we in surfing. theaters, but I can't. You know, you blow the bank after so many movies in theaters. So I do. I, I do, wait we, for a lot of them to come out on DVD. We do Amazon Prime, right? So yep. like you get this fee, and then if you buy anything from Amazon, they ship it to you for free. Oh uh, yeah, yep. We actually. Use but that then too. you get the movies, and you get their music stuff. Mm-hmm. They don't have a. Done. I mean, it's, it's a little yeah. bit weak, but some I of the bet. good ones come out, and then you can rent it for five bucks. Yeah. So you don't have to go do the red box or whatever. Yeah. I don't no, know. Awesome. I think I saw the margin on there. So big excitement on the show today. More importantly, <laughs> it appears that this absurd cold spell that we uh, kind of came into the <sighs> new year with is, I hope, over. You know, a lot of times it, it seems like every winter we're going to get a big chunk, and I hope that it's now past us. Yeah, I yeah. heard rumors that it was negative 44 degrees one morning. I don't know if you heard that. I didn't catch that at our house. We saw, I'm up on the hill just above Tabernash there, and I think we saw 27 below. But we can drive from our house right in the highlands there yeah. and go down the hill, and then it'll, it'll drop, drop 15 10. degrees, yeah. 10, 15 degrees. That's that's, I, we see that a lot. I biked so. to work at negative 15 one morning. Ooh, you know? And I know when tough. I got down the hill into Frazier, it was colder. I just when your nose hairs are like freezing and your well, eyeballs are the like eyeballs stuck. eyeballs are the worst. Yeah, yeah, yeah the like, eyeballs, ah. you just are, yeah, yeah. It, was, it wasn't that fun. Right, right. Wouldn't do that again. No, I think the cold snap's over. We had, I mean, we've had a ton of snow. I think we're over like 170. Two, yeah, I think two feet in the last, uh, you know, recent mm-hmm. time here. Skiing's and, uh, been killer. Last weekend, awesome. Beautiful. Martin Luther King weekend. Yep. Right? MLK but weekend. We MLK had a two feet over that weekend. Mm-hmm. And uh, I mean, you want to talk about, that's our peak. Awesome. I, think, I think it's usually our busiest days of the year, MLK well, it was, weekend. It was pretty crazy. I didn't go out. I was working. Jerry yeah. I got up that out. one of the mornings with like the 11 inches. On, and it was, did you? I think Jerry said he was out Sunday. Weren't you out on Sunday? Sunday, he said it was a little bit crazy. I've been skiing Sunday. Jerry was probably Sunday's on my Cramner. Bag. That's always crazy on a weekend, wow, yeah. Jerry. No, I'm just kidding. I use them like gate. <laughs> the steep and the deep. We call them steep and deep Nissen. Any which way, we got a great show today. He was uh, on the 40 gate, I saw him. We're going to learn a lot about the uh, county today. Uh, it's Granby. Yeah. I think yeah, we're going to talk yeah. about Granby, Colorado, which a lot of people just kind of think is a stop yeah. along the way, but it's the hub. I mean, I, it is incredible. For you know, a long time ago, I kind of had a vision of Granby when I was purchasing a house, as a matter of fact, 25 years ago. But I was looking at how the county might kind of evolve and what might actually go on with growth models. And mm-hmm. I always felt like Granby being in the center would have this eventual, you know, bigger growth and be kind of like the hub of our community. And, I feel like a, a and, lot of our non-condo dwellers are, you know, people right, want to right. live here, work mm-hmm. locally, and have a family, have a yard. It's reasonable. You Granby know, has uh, become kind of the community where a lot it's of people are of, residing. So. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of more of the workforce community. So, so we're going to have a... Uh, but it's not just about that. Kathy uh, Hook's coming on. Yeah, Kathy she's is. the Chamber of Commerce uh, Executive and Director. They're doing all kinds of cool stuff. Cool little uh, ski resort over there, Granby Ranch. Yep. You know, they have awesome golf. Have you ever played golf there? Oh, yeah. In the two, two awesome golf courses. Right? Well, uh, yeah, true. But yeah. like at Granby Ranch. Granby Ranch does, That's yeah. a tough course. Like, they got this the back nine, rough. You, the back if nine, you, you get off the drive, fairway, yeah. you're losing a ball. Yeah, yeah. Like, you have to drive the back nine because it's so extended and long. It's beautiful. I mean, it's incredible. It's an adventure just driving around the course. Right along the river there. So it's awesome little... But they have a good little ski hill family resort so kathy is going to come on and talk to us they have an ice fishing tournament you ever been out there doing any ice, ice fishing i haven't been up here but i have uh lake michigan which is an adventure on its own good uh, bad and different uh you know it's I, I catch a good buzz just like when i go fishing you know what i mean like, it's, <laughs> it's a great time fish. it's a great time but uh yeah, it's I all think about I, the buzz fish yeah no, it's a this three lakes tournament. It's actually a pretty good one. It's one of the bigger ones in the state. Yeah. So um, Kathy's going to talk huge a little bit about it. Huge right? lake. So that's fun. yeah, yeah. It's a lot of a lot be, of fun going on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, who else we got on? Shanna. Lolly. Shanna's going to come by. Yep. Shanna uh, Lolly is. She's uh, the president of the Rotary. President of the Rotary, and then there's a couple of fun events. They do a fundraiser bingo thing. Um, it's really good because it helps the nonprofits of our community, and um, each week they have a different nonprofit. So yeah. it's bingo nights. I believe it's Thursday nights at Beavers this Just year. One more activity in the quiver of yeah, things yeah. to do. After so if the you want to get out for a little family thing, it's yeah. cheap. Ten bucks, I think, gets you in, and you get a couple few cards and. You know, it's good for the whole family. Well, then, and and it every raises spring, money, so. this good. place it kind of ignites, and every weekend in the spring, there's some big event, a lot of fun going on, and they're a part of one of them, Winter Park Wipeout. The Wipeout is wacky. I, I, we sponsor it, the TV station sponsors it, and I do a bunch of different stuff for the event. But um, but it's fun. It's just 
goofy. It's Some of the most different. bizarre events. But it has all nothing to do with fun. Yeah. anything. It's just all these crazy, wacky things. That we, like, they had one over at Dino's where you could stack as many wine corks as you could, right? And like, so you get some prize for. So I like stacked like it's all over. I think town. I stacked like sixteen on end. You did? Yeah. And there was a little breeze, and we're all going. And like, Jenga, Jenga. But it was totally Jenga. It was it was pretty fun. It was me and my daughter, and we we did it. We did it. It was fun. It's cool. I, I Walk around gonna, town and do all these goofy things. I think I'm going to get to chat with one of our uh, local legends, Peter Ledoux. Uh, uh, yeah, if you can't remember his name or his face, you might find out. Find the guy in shorts at Christie Sports. We're going to try and sniff him up if we can. Peter's uh, been boot fitting up here for a long time, and I thought we should talk boots. Yeah. So I thought we'd pop into Christie's, do a little gear guide, let you yeah. chat it up with him. I a little bit. am one of the most ignorant people about gear. Everyone says, you know, what should I do? What's I thought this you mean? Gear. I, no, I don't know anything. I talked to <laughs> one of the guys at Christie's. Actually, I always ask. I say, Ingi. What's good right now? What should I buy? Well, you need to get the B2s or the, you know, the S3s. Or the, he's always, always, okay, always. I'll take your advice because I'd rather be on it than talking about it. There's so. always something coming So it's kind of fun to learn a lot of the info those guys know. Boots, most important thing. And, so uh, we're going to talk boots. Speaking of important, probably one of our most important guests, uh, an honor to have him on the show, our mayor of Winter Park, Jimmy Larman. Um, Winter Park, it's so much going on and so much to talk about. It's, it's really great to have him come on and explain, kind of give us the inside scoop on all the going on. Yeah, pretty psyched Jimmy can make a little time for us. He's, uh, we got a super great team uh, in Winter Park with a lot of vision and we're kind of at this uh, painful growth cycle for Winter Park now. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, just getting our transportation kind of finally in order. We've been working towards that for a long time. But a lot of new developments coming in to play, you know, road stuff going on, uh, visions for the future because like employee housing has been, it's been awful the last couple years. So Jimmy coming by, making some time for us. He'll they're, talk. They're, Jimmy can talk. Yeah. He he knows all. That guy's got his finger on the pulse. And their their head and hearts are in the right place. They uh, you know, they they don't only yeah. want to improve the money coming into town. They want to improve our quality of oh, life yeah. as residents and as uh, right. locals. You know, yeah, and no, it's I, great to really appreciate both I, sides of it. I, it's a tough. Everybody can armchair quarterback the politicians, yep. but until you get in the hot seat, you know, it's a whole different thing. And I, I do believe there's a good team, uh, great visionary leaders trying to make Winter Park, you know, next. They've got a lot of great models out there to help model our stuff and learn from the mistakes of others. And, you know, it's going to be exciting for the future, I believe. Should be an awesome show. Awesome show. Got anything else in your mind you want to share? Any confessions? You know, nah, no real any confessions. skeletons in the closet we can talk <laughs> no, about? No. Um, All right, well. Looking forward to a little uh, we've let Turner talk vacation. enough. You know, we might let him have a quick window at the <laughs> end of the show, but that's, you know, the tail end. With that, I think we're going to duck off, take a quick break, and uh, we'll be back shortly. Stay tuned. Good morning. Talk about